there is an ongoing debate on web design versus web development, as most people take these two terms as a single one. But in actual, these are not the same thing. The best way to describe web design versus web development is that they are the fruit of the same tree. Let me explain. When you look at an orange, it's vivid color that makes you crave it. But it's the juice inside that fills the thirst. So on a website, web design is similar to the outer layer of the fruit. It's the thing that attracts you. Where else, web development is the juice that keeps you on it. That's the simplest way to define them. But if it's still hard for you to comprehend the difference of web design and web development, then let's get deep into each of them. Telling the tale versus making the story work. People love to look at things that are attractive. That's what a web designer do. He designs a website that pleases the eyes. On the other hand, a web developer builds the website according to the design of the web designer. So, what is the difference between web design and web development while building a website? Simple, web designing is like telling the tale, where web developing is making the storyline. Web design or web development, which one is more crucial? To create a successful website, both designing and developing have the same importance. You can neither downplay the role of a web designer nor a developer. A web designer has to take the vision of the brand and mimic it on the site, while a web developer has to make the website function. You can see, a random looking website won't catch the customer attention. Just like that a nice, organized looking website also unnecessary if it won't function properly. So, both web designing and developing is crucial as both look and functionality has the same importance for a successful website. Challenges. Web design versus web development. Both web designing and web development has some challenges. A web designer has to take the vision and scratches of the client's requirement and turn it into a meaningful website theme and design. He has the challenges of analyzing the layout, color scheme, text font and size, and so on, that would be the perfect match with the vision. On the other hand, a web developer's biggest challenge is to turn the web designer's concept into reality. That's because you can mock up designs and tell how something should work. But there needs to be the technology available to make it possible. Role playing. Now, we will check out the main roles that a web designer and a web developer play while making a website. It will help us to differentiate these two sector more vividly. A web designer has to work on conceptualizing the idea and create a creative base using it. Create a visual story for the branding purpose. Stay updated with the trends of design as the changes happen faster here. And, focused on creating a design that is catchy, easy to navigate, and worthy of visiting. Now, we will see the roles that a web developer plays. The first job is to build an actual interface for the site to see and interact. Make it dynamic, fast, and responsive throughout devices. Work on the back-end side with databases and servers. And, get requirements and make changes to adopt the best possible technology. Skills and tools. Both web designers and developers has to achieve some skill set and tools operating knowledge to design and build a professional looking website. Let's take a quick look on this aspect. A web designer's main job is to design a website. So, he must have a good sense of it. He has to be up to date with newer trends and styles to idealize his thoughts and make the idea alive. And to do this, he has to master some essential tools like Photoshop, Illustrator, and basic programming knowledge. Amazing designing sense along with the best use of these tools can be the best sword for a designer. On the flip side, web development is all about coding, where you need a variety of tools. And the main skill for a web developer is to be well versed with these tools and technologies. You'll face many challenges while adopting various tools to a website. So, solving these challenges is the main skill requirement. As for the basic things, a web developer needs to work with IDE, version control platform, browser developer tools, and many other tools like hosting, CMS, testing tools. Types. Web designer versus web developer. There are branches of web designing. Two to be more exact. UX designer. UX stands for user experience. The job of a UX designer is to create an experience. He establishes the layout of the site that reels in people and keep them stay. For that, they need to know the audience and create an enjoyable journey for them. UI Designer The UX team gets the visitors hooked to the website. But it's the job of the UI designer to keep them using it. 
UI is the user interface. It's the way people interact with the system. So, the UI team's job is to help you interact with the site. However, there is also a third kind. The visual designers. And they are master of both UX UI design. Now, let's have a look on the types of web developer. To be precise, there are three kinds of web developers. Front-end developer. The guy who takes the vision of the designer and makes his concept exist is a front-end designer. The work they do is what people can see. They create interfaces. The front-end developers mainly work with HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Back-end developer. They are the builders. They create the foundation on which the website stands. The work of a back-end developer isn't as apparent as the front-end. But they create the functionalities that bring the site to life. They let us interact with the website. Usually, back-end devs need to work with PHP, a SPNet, SQL, or MySQL full-stack developer. The most coveted role in the dev team is the full stack. And as the name suggests, it requires you to have an all-round knowledge. So, you've got to be good with the design and also with the tech. That's because you're required to work on both the front and back end of a website. Well, we've reached the ending part of this video. But, here is a question. After watching this video what do you think you should be? Web designer or web developer? Hopefully, what you've learned today will help you out to figure the right path. Hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned with us for more exciting video. Like, comment, and share this video with your friends and family.